their normal lifespan. My animals didn't live their normal lifespan. They lived, uh, the ones who were treated lived significantly longer than the controls, but none of them lived a normal lifespan. This was, to my mind, a really remarkable finding. And I was particularly impressed by the fact that, again, here was an inflammatory reaction taking place in the healing process. And knowing that they were similar mice, uh, it was fairly easy to assume that the basic or fu common functioning principle taking place between Bill's work as a healer and my work using the accumulator was this inflammatory response. And it was reasonable also to assume, although this can certainly provide a great deal of, uh, of stimulus for future research, easy uh, to assume that something common is taking place in the accumulator and in the healing process that Bill is using. Now I mentioned before that those of us using these accumulators have no idea that intention was involved, but since working uh, in the field with uh, Bob John and Brenda Dunn and seeing Bill's work, I'm convinced that an intentional factor is involved in the work with the accumulators. And the way I like to understand this thing is to use uh, what's going on and provide a possible model for future work is the M5 model that uh, Bob John and Brenda Dunn developed out of their work uh, with intention on human beings. Now, just for those of you who don't know this model, uh, this is a model of consciousness. And we have here consciousness as we all know it, that is con uh, the ability to perceive oneself and to act out of one's perceptions. The unconscious mind, this is an event which takes place in the external world, and this is called the tangible physical reality by them. And this is the intangible physical reality. And to give you a little bit more of the anatomy of this, it's considered that uh, when intention is in action, that there's a stimulation at some very deep level of the organism where, how, what, I can't say, but at some deep level of the organism. And this stimulates a, a reaction in consciousness, through the unconscious into consciousness, and through the intangible physical reality to the physical reality. And they uh, utilize this model to help explain as best they can how the average person can influence a random event generator from, with their mind alone either sitting in front of it or being thousands of miles away. Now, where this comes into play in my thinking about the material I just presented to you is that, oh, by the way, one other thing, is that there is this, a place of confluence between the unconscious mind and intangible physical reality. Now, what is intangible physical reality? It's the substructure, it underlies our tangible physical reality. And we don't know very much about it. Many kinds of things have been postulated. Uh, this is the place where the vacuum energy lives. Uh, this is where prana exists, chi, Reich's organ, and so forth. Uh, we know, or at least I'm pretty sure, that there is such an arena uh, or domain of existence which underlies our physical reality. Uh, there is no way to explain most of the phenomena that we know that emerge into physical reality through, uh, from a certain kind of background. And uh, we know about this in the vacuum energy. They talk about a ground from whence these virtual particles emerge, but nobody talks very much about the nature of that ground, but it's accepted. Uh, 
Now, what I'm postulating is that this is, this is the place that is being activated by intention when you're a healer. And it moves in this way into the object which one is healing. Now, I've described two different kinds of experiments. One in which there's intention alone, and the other where you have this so-called accumulator of energy, and there is no known intention taking place. But what I submit is that there is intention taking place, and in the accumulator experiment, it's being magnified tremendously by the accumulator, which is functioning on the intangible physical level. And that's why we could get such dramatic effects in our cancer mice. And compared to that, Bill is using primarily intention, but if Reich is right, or there is chi, there is prana, there is this intangible level, then that is being activated by the healer to produce the effect on the animals. And that effect primarily, whether you're using an accumulator or not, is one of an inflammatory reaction. Now, how come you have an inflammatory reaction? That's the next biggie, the big question, the interesting question. Of course, I, d I don't know the answer to that at this point, but I submit that probably what you're getting is a total organismic reaction, and that involves uh, an effect on the immune system. <coughs> and that produces this enhanced inflammatory reaction. So I mentioned all of this just as a means of providing some kind of framework for those people who want to do some work on this in the future. Thank you. It's a good point, and what we would have to do to test that, it seems to me, is to have people work with an accumulator not knowing what it was and apply, attempt to apply intention uh, towards the animals. Do another experiment in which you can... Just to follow this up, I presume that for the virtual wall research that we are to the experimenters knew which box was the wheel to work on. There's sure. no control. There's no, there's no, there's no, there's no blinding. No right. blinding whatsoever. Right. This could all be intentional. Yes, it could. Okay. I just start thanking Yeah. yeah. I think there's a slide uh, that makes a lot of some accumulators on the living organisms. Any data on well, there are a lot of effects that Reich reported, and some of these have been followed up by his students. Uh, one of his students, uh, James DeMeo, who is a, a member of our society, recently did a, a several year study demonstrating uh, the fact that within an accumulator, the temperature is always higher than the uh, surrounding air or a control. Excuse me? Do those results fit into this M5 normal? Can they fit into there? Uh, probably, but I haven't thought that much about it. It certainly would, be, would support the whole idea of this intangible physical reality because these kinds of effects are extremely anomalous. They just don't live in our, in our normal world as we know it and when we do our 
So 